Hello, my Biblio darlings. Welcome back to Bibliothesia. My name is Mally, and the story that we're going to read today is called The Day the Crayons Quit. But before we do that, let's remind our body that we are safe right here and right now. And how we're going to do that? With a 4 4 8 deep breathing exercise, meaning we're going to inhale for four counts, hold our breath for four counts, and then blowing out the breath for eight counts. Pardon me, like we're either blowing out wind or birthday candles. So with that, inhale deeply for one, two, three, four. Now hold the breath. And exhale out for eight. I'm hoping you're feeling more relaxed. I'm feeling more relaxed. So let's start with a story, The Day the Crayons Quit. And it's written by Drew Daywalt. And it's illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Poor Duncan just wants to color, but when he opens his box of crayons, he finds only letters, all saying the same thing. We quit. Beige is tired of playing second fiddle to brown. Blue needs a break from coloring all that water, while pink just wants to be used. Green has no complaints, but orange and yellow are no longer speaking to each other. What is Duncan going to do? Let's find out. Dedication to Mary Shell, Abigail and Reese, DD, to Ewan or Ewan, OJ. The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywaite. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite color um, your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard ha wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the line soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, purple crayon. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> red and purple just aren't having any of it. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, but I know that elephants are gray, and that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on, on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know? So are very tiny rocks. Pebbles! How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are, you, you are using me on. White! If I don't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color, snow, or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, 
white crayon. <laughs> oh my. White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Picture of a white cat and only the two yellow eyes, pink nose and purple whiskers and mouth. To the left what looks like two eyes and a mouth. And underneath what looks like a gray crown on jagged lines. And underneath that a blue sh short horizontal crayons line. Yep. That's to emphasize the point of white's roll. Hi Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair. When you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons, how about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. <laughs> Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on... It's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. <laughs> Look at that. Yellow crayon is pointing up to a coloring book, page Happy Farm. And on the top right is a yellow sun. Orange crayon is looking with a not too happy look on its orange face. Ooh. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I'm clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zoo Keeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun? Orange crayon. <laughs> and there is orange crayon with a really happy expression on its face and both hands held up towards the coloring book. Meet the zookeeper has an orange sun in the top center of the page and monkey island has an orange sun in the top part of the picture and to the left of the monkey high up in a tree. Yellow crayon is looking frustrated and sad with his hands on his hips as he looks down at the ground below him. Hmm, sounds like orange is happy here and yellow isn't happy at all. Here's another crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. And look at that. There's a boat in blue water and three blue clouds up above and rain coming down. Below, the little stubby Blue Crayon is lying down on the page looking so tired. Oh my. Here's the next one. Duncan, okay. Listen here, kid. You've not used me once in the past year. It's because you think... I am a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me some time to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows, they could use a splash of color. Your, your unused friend, pink crayon. Look, 
There's a pink dinosaur, a pink monster, pink cowboy, pink princess, and the pink crayon. Kind of looking bored. <laughs> Here's another one. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! You're a naked friend, Peach Crayon. Peach Crayon <laughs> look, is looking down at the crayon box and looking at its paper wrapping on the ground outside of the crayon box. Oh, poor Peach. And look at this. Here's a whole bunch of letters. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. Look at the picture. It's a multicolored picture with each item that was shared by each color. Ooh, and look, and an A plus for creativity. The multicolored crayon with all the colors. The crayon has a happy expression on its face and lots of colors coming out of its head. What did you think of the story, The Day the Crayons Quit? I thought it was really cute and it gave me a perspective on what life m must be like for a crayon. Now let's end our time together by doing that deep breathing exercise. When you're ready, inhale deeply for And now hold the breath for. And now exhale out for eight. Well, I'm hoping you're feeling more relaxed. Please remember to click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and until next time where we read our other story, our next story. Take good care. Bye!